Okay, in this video I'm just going to demonstrate how we set up the circuit for the Ohm's Law experiment, which we um, will be carrying out in class. And um, what we're aiming to set up is the circuit in this diagram from your notes. And the reason we're setting it up is to test how changing the voltage across a resistor will affect the current that flows in the circuit. And what we would expect to find is that as we increase the voltage across the resistor, we'll get more current flowing through the resistor, and therefore more current flowing through the circuit. But what we want to do is carefully test um, how the two are related to one another. So to do this, we're going to need the equipment um, that you can see in front of you. We need an ammeter, a voltmeter, a resistor, and a voltage source, which is our power pack, which is here. And we're going to need some connecting wires and a couple of crocodile clips. Okay, the, the clearest and easiest way to set up a circuit is just to start at one end. So we'll start at the negative terminal of the power source. Um, and then uh, we'll carry on around the circuit until we have a complete circuit. So starting at the negative end of the power source here, that's where electrons come from, we move around the circuit until we get to the ammeter. So we're going to plug the negative end of the power source into the negative end of the ammeter. And we're then going to continue around the circuit. So we're going to carry on from the positive end of the ammeter to the resistor. So we plug our lead into the positive end of the ammeter. And our other end will connect to the one end of the resistor. Next, we want to go from the other end of the resistor back to the power pack. So, we use our second crocodile clip. And back to the power pack. So now we have a basic circuit uh, where current can flow from the negative end through the ammeter where the current is counted. So the number of coulombs that pass through per second we get registering on here. Then we have uh, the other end passes through all of this resistance wire, comes out the other side, back to the power pack, to the positive end. And so we have a closed circuit. The next thing that we need is a way to measure uh, how much energy each bit of charge loses across here. And to do that we need to connect a voltmeter to either side of the resistor in parallel as the diagram shows. And to do that, we take our voltmeter and we connect the negative terminal of the voltmeter to the negative side of the, of the resistor. This one is the negative side because that's the one that's connected to the negative end of the power pack. So we'll plug one end of the voltmeter in there, one terminal of the voltmeter, and the other one's going to connect into here. Now, the amount of voltage we're going to have is going to range from 0 to about 12. So we don't want to use the 3 volt range, which would be the lower scale on here. We want to use the 15 volt range, which is the higher scale here. So what we're going to do is plug the positive wire, the, the positive terminal in the 15 volt scale to the positive end of the resistor. So now we have a circuit a closed circuit with a resistor and an ammeter and a voltmeter in parallel with the resistor to measure the voltage across the resistor. And um, we can just test that the circuit works. Uh, we have a low voltage, so always start with a low voltage when you're testing the circuit. And then we just turn the power pack on and we can see that we're getting a small voltage around about 2 volts and we're getting a small current and um, the circuit seems to be working as it's supposed to. In the next video, we'll have a look at how to gather data in this experiment.